Welcome to lesson number three. In this lesson, we are going to lay out our form. As you can see, the form is disgusting. It's just huge. It's intimidating. If you send this form to a real client, there is a very good chance that he will close it before he will even fill one field. In order to make it look a little bit better, Zo provided us an option named page break. Let's assume that I can divide my form into different pages. Okay, I'm going to drag and drop the page break into the right places when logically it makes sense. And then I can have section one, section two, Okay, section three, and when I will present you the page, the page can have those kind of sections, and every time that I will click on next, I will see more questions. Now, you can also have a navigation bar, or you can have steps, you can design it in different ways, and it will look a little bit different. As you can see from here, if you go to the page properties, you can have different type of navigations and you can play with it, you know, and you can, you can choose whatever works for you. The section field is a great way to present and manage expectation with your client. For example, if I will drag and drop the section field and I will write here personal, personal information, and in the instruction, I will write, please fill your personal info, blah, 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 blah. And I will click on save. You can see that the form will have now a section, which I know that this is my personal information. And I will have some instructions that will tell me what to do in this section. Okay. So that's, that's very good when you don't want to confuse your clients. Okay. Now, Zo also provided us a way to lay out our page. Let's assume that I have my contact us page and I want to integrate a Zo form into this page. The page is supposed to look something like my own website. When I will go to the themes option on the top, I will be able or to select from one of the existing layouts. So let's assume that I will go with the ocean and I will refresh the page. As you can see, the design is different, the fonts, the colors, everything just changed. I also have an option to click on customize form and then I can select the right properties and I can change them. As you can see, I'm changing now the background of the form itself. Now I can also go and change, for example, the form header and I can change its color. You see, I'm just changing it right now. Now the, the level of, of, of customization, it's really dependent on you. You can change the fonts, you can change shadows, borders, alignment, transparency. You have lots and lots of different options here. And the, the level of creativity that you will have will eventually determine the level of, of, of what will be the result. So providing you 100% customization and it's really up to you how the form will look like. If you are like me, and you're very bad at design, you probably want to stick with the existing templates that are coming as out of the box. Okay. I'm horrible in design and, and I'm always going with what Zoar providing is out of the box functionality. That's it. That will be lesson number three. I just showed you how you can design the different forms. In lesson number four, we are going to deal with formulas and I will show you more information about the different fields. I will see you in lesson number four.